Colleagues, it is with great pride and uh, deep gratitude that I rise to say a few words of thanks to my dear colleague. I don't need to describe her career or embellish her intelligence or contribution to this place, but I do need to publicly acknowledge the deep service she did in establishing the government representative office uh, and beginning to provide the framework for how a less partisan, more independent Senate would work. When I arrived in this chamber in April of 2016, it was rather lonely sitting amidst all of the empty chairs uh, as the government representative. And I was determined to seek out for a team somebody who had had roots in a conservative tradition and somebody who had had roots in a liberal tradition. That wasn't as easy a task as I thought it would be. But it was made all the easier when I spoke with Deanne and asked whether she would join me in this work. And she said, well, I don't really know the rules, but I'm an economist. <laughs> and I, uh, I obviously was attracted to the personality that you see here today and have learned to know. And I am deeply blessed, and thank you, Deanne, for taking that gamble of reputation and circumstance. I can't tell you how lovely it was every morning, very early, Deanne was always a little late, uh, to have coffee with Grant Mitchell and talk a little bit about what possibly we could expect in the, in the course of the day. And I think it's important for those of you who have come in the last number of years to be reminded that the institution that we are today is not the institution that we were eight years ago. And in large measure, the changes have their roots in the intellectual framework that Deanne has provided. So I want to publicly acknowledge uh, your contribution, your, f your friendship. You're the only seatmate I've had. <laughs> uh, and now I've got to get a second partner. <laughs> Thank you.